So you can't see it, but I am wearing a Disney shirt today. I'm kind of annoyed that you can't see it, but I don't actually have time to fix anything and put it down so you can see my Disney shirt because I am about to go get on a plane for Disney right now as soon as I'm done with this. So just know that I have a Disney shirt on. Well, I mean, ugh, that took a lot out of me. Yeah, Disney. We're, we're doing that today. We, we are leaving. And I did not want to leave before we finished up Project Soapway and celebrated our third and final winner. So that's what we are going to be doing today. I will tell you who that winner is in just a minute. But before I do, hello, I am Mrs. Soap and Clay. Let's make stuff. How's it going, Sudzers? Welcome back to the channel. You are at Soap and Clay, where we make all the soapy things. And you are here for week 22 of year three and Project Soapway challenge number eight, which we know because Karen told us in the MQ Soapery video that she edited and it was great. And we are celebrating the third and final winner of the Ghost Swirls challenge today. And that winner is actually a brand new soaping company. So I know that you're going to go give her all of the love on all of her socials so we know when her first product launch is, and that is Diamond Sky Soapery. Or as we know her on the YouTubes, Kimberly, and as we know her in the Discord, Always Jonk. First up, that is such a fun, although at the very beginning was a very stressful thing for me once we started the Discord or whatever, because the names that I knew on the YouTube weren't matching up with the names that came up in the, the Discord. You know what I mean? And like for me, I'm just soap and clay across everything. Like I always have been. I don't have any other names anywhere else. It's just soap and clay or maybe Mrs. Soap and Clay. But so the different names always really kind of confusing. But then when you get to know name on YouTube versus name on Discord versus name IRL versus business name, and you have to put all these pieces together. It becomes amazing and wild because her name is actually a celebration of her favorite band ever. It is a band called Shiny from South Korea. They are a K-pop band. And Always Jong is her name to honor one of the members of the band that passed away a few years ago. And I think that that is very beautiful. I am going to try real hard to not talk about, uh, you know, Shiny and K-pop and fandoms throughout this video because it is a short video just by nature of the ghost worlds you know challenge they're going to be shorter because the pour itself there's not a lot going on it's more prep work before you even turn on the camera but i can make no guarantees on that because i actually really like them right now and i didn't know who they were before kimberly introduced me to this band and so thank you for that i appreciate it i appreciate you just in general just right off the bat i am going to tell you that right now that I do appreciate you, like as a human. You have been a wonderful person to talk to, and so thank you for being you and for giving me so much of you. I appreciate that, and for letting me be me with you too. So thank you. For Diamond Sky, relatively new soap maker, brand new business. Again, her socials are coming soon, so definitely go and like her Instagram and do the things. But she is for her IRL job. She works in IT, and it's a very cool job from the things that I have heard and the things that she talks about. She has children who are in their 20s, and this woman does not look old enough to have children in her 20s. Do that, Karen, samesies. Like, I'm just, I could never. Y'all out here looking like superstars, like with grown children. It's shocking to me. I guess your soaps and your cosmetics are really working out well for you. So well done with that. But yeah, she is a brand new soap maker. She is recently new to the Discord. I love her. She's such a fun 
positive influence within the community for sure. And, you know, every time I say that, it almost sounds like I'm saying that other people are not. And that's really not the case. The Discord server in and of itself, lots of positivity, lots of encouragement, nothing toxic as far as like positive or negative with anything. It's just a really good group of humans that, you know, do the soapy things and share what they want as far as every other life thing with pets and kids and families and everything. And they always have a home to come to whenever they need someone to talk to. So everybody's great. But obviously we're talking about always right now or Diamond or Kimberly. So many names. And promoting her first ever win for Project Soapway. And I am very excited about it. I think this is the first one that she's ever actually submitted for too. I'm pretty sure that that's right. She actually, I think, trolled me quite a bit within this footage. And so I also love that. But yes, let's get to her video and we will see why she maybe trolled me and all the things, you know, there. So first up, I sincerely hope Kimberly wins another challenge because there is so much to unpack with Kimberly as a human. And these videos are all actually shorter than usual because the ghost swirl, it's more prep than it is, you know, actually making the, you know, the, the soap. So I don't know that we're going to have time to unpack everything because as she is showing right here, the ghost swirl challenge really is all about the prep work. It is creating the recipe and, you know, making sure that everything is dialed in for each of your different lye solutions. We have talked about what makes a ghost swirl a ghost swirl. All has to do with the concentrations of lye. And for this challenge, I did specify that three different lye concentrations needed to be used. And you could use your fragrance oil to discolor, to lean into the discoloration. Or you could use one single colorant. That colorant could be natural or not. So that's what we are working with with all of this. Now, this particular scent, this Friday night from Nature's Fragrance, I've literally never heard of Nature's Fragrance, so I'm interested in going to check that out. But also, just to Kimberly and Diamond Sky in general, I have not heard of a whole lot of things that she has made me aware of. She is a fascinating human, and becoming one of my favorite people like on the planet really fast. She's new to the you know Discord membered Sudzers, newish. You know, and goes by always Jong in the Discord. And I actually love that because that has to do with her absolute favorite band ever, which is Shiny, which is a Korean, South Korean K pop band. And because of Kimberly and her absolute obsession with this band, and you know, she's like slid into my DMs, especially during the Taylor Swift thing when her and Joe Alwyn broke up. And she's like, I get it. I'm, I'm part of a fandom too. It's a thing. You're allowed to grieve, all this stuff. And she started telling me about this band, Shiny, and I am obsessed, right? Like, I'm literally listening to a deep dive on them right now. Eight albums, been around since 2008, uh, always like a five-member, you know, boy band or whatever. And Jong Yoon actually died, you know, a few years ago, passed away, and that's where Always Jong, her username, comes from. And I am obsessed with everything about them. Like, how... And also, like, Kimberly's involvement in it, right? Like... They are a superstar K-pop band in their own right within, you know, Korea. And also, I guess they made it pretty big here because I am seeing some English. I'm hearing some English songs, too, within this deep dive that's literally in my ear right now. But I'm wondering, like, how a person from America, like, how did they become your favorite boy band? You know what I mean? Like, we have, we had all the other boy bands, you know? And so... How did you find them? Because she's been really into them since 2008. And I have never heard of them until just literally recently when Kimberly was telling me about them. So it's absolutely fascinating. I highly recommend. I'm actually going to put this deep dive in the, in the description as well. And I highly recommend going and checking their music out because they're all bops. You know, even when they're like singing in Korean and I have no idea what they're saying. There's still, it's like very cool. It's, it, they're all jams, you know? Initially, I thought that was kind of interesting, but also it's not because I listen to like Spanish and like French music, right? And I don't fully understand what it is that they're saying. I know some, you know, Spanish and French, but not totally. You know what I mean? And so now I'm wondering, I have so many questions. It's like, Kimberly, do you know Korean? Did you learn Korean because you loved the band? Did you know Korean beforehand? Do you just not know Korean and you're just, you feel 
the meaning of the song through, you know, just the musical, whatever. And it's, it's all good. Like I said, so many questions. Yeah. Fascinating human being that is just, again, exposed me to some really interesting stuff that otherwise I would never have experienced. It's one of many reasons why the Sudzer community is so awesome because yes, it's soap, but it's also like a family wherein we share all of the rest of our likes and stuff, you know? right now I really can't talk about shiny anymore you know like I said I would like to but there's only so much that can go into this video and I do need to talk about this WTF always Kimberly diamond sky what are you doing You're... she decided to make me a pull through like that's that is the footage that she decided to send to mrs. soap and clay of pull throughs are stupid you know is -ness. yeah because pull-throughs are stupid. And she's just going to make us a pull-through. And so I get to sit here and be super jelly over, well, A, her fluid batter. Every pull-through that I've ever done and the Soprentices have ever done, every, every pull-through. Have you ever seen batter that fluid? I don't think it's ever happened. And that's interesting because all of these lie concentrations are diffy, right? And we've seen that everybody's uh, actual batter itself, the fluidity has been very different from one lie concentration to the other, as is expected. She decided to take that with that knowledge that, you know, some of them are supposed to be thicker, you know, and, uh, and make a pull through. So that's great. Thank you very much for uh, that. I got the biggest kick out of that when I saw that. Like, you've got to be kidding me. You're going to give me a pull through. I love it. I'm here for it. I'm also here for her being a messy soaper because she is. She spilled quite a bit and all of that. And she actually did say something to the effect of she is a disaster. And I'm like, yeah, no, me too. This is why you're one of my people. This is amazing. She says that she's messy and she's clumsy. And it's like, yeah, same. I love it. All of this, all of the things. Now, with her voiceover or whatever, she decided to do a voiceover for this particular, you know, poor... And what she did was a voiceover over the existing audio on it from, cause she was talking to me in both instances. And so it was a little bit hard to really pick up on everything that she said, but she did point out in all of that, that while she works in IT, cause she does that thing, uh, she doesn't work in that kind of IT. She's not a videographer. You know what I mean? And I get that completely. You're not a video editor. And Mr. Webman gets that all the time too. I think I intentionally do that to him often. Like I'll ask for something. I'll call him for something. And my mom does the same thing. Like my mom recently, her printer broke. And so she called him and he's like, right. I, that, that's not my expertise, but I suppose I can help you find a printer. Well, yeah, it's one of those things where you just sort of assume, well, you work in IT, so you must be good at all of this stuff. No, it's not true. It's a big, big world. But Kimberly, in and of herself, she's a brand new soaper. Her business is really, literally brand new. And she did this challenge. I think this was the first challenge that she submitted for. And her socials, as you saw with all the things, they're brand new. So I really do hope that you guys go over to Instagram and immediately give her all the extra follows or whatever. So it makes her, you know, debut when she puts out her first web, her first, you know, website launch notification and all the things on her socials, even that more special because we're all there waiting for it for when she wants to do it. No pressure. I never want any of the Sudsers to ever feel like they're pressured into making a business because you certainly don't have to. And when you do, you should do it at your own pace. But look at that. Oh, look at that. It's a pull through that worked. It's great. Brand new soaper. Doesn't even have her website up. She's great at pull throughs. And I am not. Which is why I say pull-throughs are stupid. For anybody who's, you know, offended and they love pull-throughs more than anything in the world, I say that they're stupid because I am bad at them. That is the only reason I say it. But she apparently is not because look at that. She made it look completely effortless. And for the rest of the soap batter, she decided to do an in-the-pot swirl and make them in a proper mold with all of that and do a hanger swirl. So we're getting two, two beautiful soaps for one video, which is, I don't know, pretty epic. Well done, Kimberly. I'm, I'm impressed. And I like the idea of doing an in the pot swirl for a 
ghost swirl. It's not something that I think, I don't think I've ever tried it. I think I've always done an in the mold swirl for ghost swirls. But, oh look, her batter is now getting thick. All right, that's cool. It's interesting that it wasn't thick at all through that very long and tedious process of making a pull through, huh? I'm shocked. I'm gonna have to go back and actually look at her recipe and see what she did with all of that. Because I know the lye concentrations are diffy. Because why would she, you know, why would she gaslight us like that? She's not that kind of person. So it's got to be something else. Maybe the super fat, maybe the blend of the, no, super fat still wouldn't make sense. Maybe the, t I have no idea. Sodium lactate. She put sodium lactate in it. And that will actually help extend the trace for a little bit. So it could be that. But anyway, I am completely blown away that we got two for the price of one. And, you know, she delivered me a, a pull through while still being clumsy and a messy soaper and a disaster just like me. So yeah, you can be a messy soaper, but also still have an awesome, you know, finished product. So I'm proud of her for that, for sure. And again, she's going to take the hanger to all of this. And I don't know if that's a proper hanger. It's like a gear tie or something. Like, I don't know if that's a hanger tool. But whatever, it's very cool. And so she did an in the pot swirl, put it in the mold, and then she took a hanger to it. And I have no idea if she's going to see pop or gel this, but we are going to go check out this cut in a minute after she shows all of her beautiful, you know, skewering skills. I'm just so impressed by all of this. All the sudsers are so amazing with all of the stuff that they do. And I don't know. Even with this, the, that batter getting thick, I don't know that I would have even bothered. I didn't even bother taking a hanger to mine, you know? I dialed it in the laziest way possible. I need to stop doing that. The next challenge, I'm going to bring my A game. I promise. But yeah, this is, this is Kimberly. This is Diamond Sky. Let's go check out the cut. Okay, now onto the cut, and the footage that we got for the cut is the cutting of the actual bars, the loaf mold, not the column mold, but you can see there on the side, she did cut the pull through, and I don't see that there, there's definitely some differences in color there, um, not a whole lot of swirls or pull throughs with the ones that I can see just right there on the right of the cutter, but I don't know. She did not send me that footage. So obviously those were not the bars that she submitted for the challenge. But you bet your booty that I left it in anyway. Because I think that's ballsy and badass that you sent me a pull through. <laughs> Which will also probably never be a soap challenge. Because I, while I have no problem showing you all why or that I'm bad at things. I don't just want to, you know, own it like that all of the time. But... The swirls here, absolutely gorgeous. You can totally tell the different contrast in the texture and everything. The three colors are represented, but also because of the water discounts, the light concentrations and the differences there, it creates a different texture to the, the face of the bar. And it's very interesting. Those textures continue to actually get more beautiful as they sit as well because the soaps are drying out and losing their water weight. And so some places are shrinking faster than others. And so it becomes very fun. I really do love pull throughs for that reason. Well, for many reasons, but absolutely gorgeous. And she used kaolin clay within all of this. And I think she ultimately also used, so kaolin clay as an additive and the color, the mica, there, she put a little bit of white sparkle mica in there, which obviously sparkles do not show up in the end product of cold process. She was not in, she didn't want them to, she knew that going in, but all in all, absolutely stunning, you know, pull through that for, see, look, that's when it's a little bit more dry. Isn't that gorgeous? I just said stunning pull through. It's not a pull through. It's a stunning ghost swirl. But thank you for showing me your pull through, through footage. And uh, congratulations on the win. I think it's probably going to be the first of many. And there it is, the beautiful ghost swirl from Diamond Sky. And again, I'm not now second guessing as to whether or not that's even her name because I literally just got her socials like three minutes ago. So I might be saying it wrong the whole time. And if I am, I'm super sorry about it. Regardless, the socials are right. So definitely go give her a follow and show her all the love and the support that the Sudzers can muster. And we can muster a lot because we are awesome. Thank you very much for showing this process to me. Thank you 
very much for allowing me to show this to the internet and to talk about you and promote you. Thank you for existing as a human. You really are one of the real ones and I appreciate you oh so very much. I really do hope that she wins another one so I can talk more about, you know, the fandom and everything. But I do have questions regarding how you got into that in the first place because getting into a boy band, that makes sense. You know what I mean? Because boy bands are awesome. But getting into a K-pop boy band in 2008 when I wasn't even aware that that was a thing all the way back then, pretty impressive. You know what I mean? So I have questions. I, I, I need to know more. I need to know answers. So yeah. And when I get those answers, maybe I'll talk about them in a video if you win another Project Soapway. But for that, you've won this one. Congratulations. Congratulations to all of the winners. You guys are epic. I am very, very proud to know you. I am very, very proud to love you and to have you in my life. I mean that. I, I know that, you know, I say it all the time, but it's what I, it's it's wild. It's still a wild thing to me, you know? So obviously, thank you again for the millionth time. I really hope you guys are having a great day. I really got to zoom zoom. I got to catch a flight. We are very, very excited. Disney awaits and all of the magic and all the things. And so, yeah, thank you for joining me for another round of Project Soapway, another round of Soapy Fun. I will be back in a few days for another round of Soapy Fun. When did I start messing that up? Bye. Okay, so like the real reason I really like Kimberly so much is because she said in her video that, you know, she became a Taylor Swift fan because I'm obsessed and crazy. And also we should talk about Taylor Swift because Taylor Swift is like messy right now. You know, what's going on there? She's just messy. We here for that? I'm here for it generally. I never really super liked Joe Alwyn, but it was sad when they broke up because she had to deal with it. But also... To the, the new boy, he doesn't look like he uses soap. And so everything else that he could or could not be aside, somebody needs to teach him how to bathe. But that's it. Point is, Kimberly is now a Swifty. So welcome to Swifty Nation. You're going to love it here. I got to go. For real. I, I got to go.